Welcome back, everyone. Tonight on Talk with Tyrell, protecting yourself from identity theft. Today, we learned that the personal information of about 200,000 Citibank credit card customers here in the U.S. has been exposed. Hackers broke into Citi's online account site and stole people's names, account numbers, and email addresses. The New York-based bank discovered the problem during routine monitoring, and they say they're contacting customers whose information was breached. The bank says the hackers did not have access to social security numbers, birth dates, and expiration dates. But this is all still a major concern. Joining me here in the studio now to talk about the steps you can take to protect your information, Evelina Robinson, Fraud Loss Prevention and Investigations Manager at Teachers Federal Credit Union. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having what me. What are companies doing to protect our information? Well, I know at Teachers Federal Credit Union, what we're doing is we offer our members a service called For Protection Plus, which enables them to assist in protecting and not having access to their identity information. So along with that and the members, uh, educating the members on being diligent with protecting their information is key. Yeah, because companies have a responsibility, but we have a responsibility to protect our information as well because all that information is really important to us. Let's take a look, Evelina, at some of the things that we wanted to talk about tonight. Okay. First, make sure when you shop online, which is something I love to do, make sure you're doing it in a secure site, on a secure page. That's correct. And how you can detect that is when you go on the website, first of all, you should in input the information. Don't click on a link for the website. Oh, really? Okay. And then once you get to the website, there's a, a little icon. It looks like a, a, a a lock. A lock. Right. A absolutely. And that will tell you that the site is secure. And then the address HTTPS. Yes. Means secure site. Correct. Okay. Uh, review your financial statements regularly. A lot of us don't do that anymore these days. When they come in the mail, either, if they even do anymore, we just chuck them in the shredder. Right. And that's very important because it's the early detection that's key for the financial institutions to then take action if there is a problem. Yeah, because you see the unauthorized use and you can report it right away. Um, don't respond to any unexpected requests for pretty important information such as your social security number. Something that's very vital for the consumer to know is that no financial institution will request your personal information at any time via the internet. So that's something to keep in mind if you, you should receive something of that nature. And if I do and I'm, I have a question, I should call the institution directly and say, hey, did you guys really ask me for this information? Absolutely. And if possible, forward their security department that email that you received. Okay. Um, shred anything that's got your personal information on it. Yes. I always, when I do my identity theft presentations, I always ask if people have shredders. And a lot of people say no, but what we don't realize is we, if we have hands, we have scissors, we have Shredders. I have three shredders, <laughs> plus my hands and the scissors. And also, regularly review your credit reports. Okay, that's not always something you want to do if you're a little bit worried about where your score is, but that's really important, isn't it? And the myth is that if you don't believe that your credit is great, that you're not going to be susceptible to identity theft. That's not always true. It's very easy. You're entitled to one free credit report a year you annually. Are, right? And what I strongly suggest is, although when you review your credit report, make sure that you don't just review the established credit, but check your inquiries as well. All right. Because thank that's you a telltale so much. sign. Evelina Robinson, thank you so much for coming in. Teachers You're Federal Credit Union. It's important these days. We really have to watch this stuff. Absolutely. Thank you so much. By the way, we have more information on how to protect your identity on News12.com. Just click on the Numbers and Links tab. When we come back, Bill Corbell will have your seven-day hyperlocal forecast plus a lot.